All right, in this video, um, we're going to add video to our website. Now, I'm, I'm using my website here as an example. So, so far, this is what I've got. Um, this pops up, that pops open. It says Yellowstone. This is my home page. I can click on Home, About, Gallery, um, where I have my image files. They're not up. Oh, I moved them from a wrong folder, so now they're not popping up. So let me fix that. I'll show you how I fix that. I moved my, um, here's a folder where I have all of my um, directory where I have my stuff now. Uh, there's the website flash file. There's my Swift. Here's a couple of videos. But what I need is from my week 11 folder, I need the images. And so I'm going to copy this whole folder. And then I'm going to copy it and paste it into the week 12 folder and now you'll see that that works. So now if I go on images, let me fire that up again, hit control enter, and there's the website coming to life, home, about, gallery, and now there's no error because uh, we're able to find uh, the images where they're supposed to be, so there's no error. But we need to have the video portion. And in the video portion, I just put some text here. It says, watch some videos. So to do this, uh, what um, Rich Shoup explains in um, CS3 in Chapter 14, Video Essentials, and I recommend watching these. They're, um, they're pretty darn good, actually. Um, I know that sometimes they're hard to watch, but these are pretty darn good. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to need to compress some video, and we're going to turn our video into flash video files. So in the week 12 folder, you'll see I have an AVI clip, uh, venus.avi, and ducks.mpeg. And here it is. Here's the AVI file. Okay, it's an AVI video file. It's, it's actually a much smaller video. It's supposed to be like uh, smaller. Video size, 100%. Oh, okay, whatever, it's that big. And then this one, um, the ducks. There we go. Yep, that's me right there with the ducks. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to compress this video. We're going to turn this video into flash video. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my computer, and I'm going to go into my C drive. And then as I'm in my C drive, I'm going to go to Documents and Settings. And Dan A, that's me. And I'm going to look for my programs. Where are my program files? Whoops. Not in Documents and Settings. In my C drive, Program Files. Under Program Files, I'm going to go to Adobe Flash CS3. And you see what it says here? Adobe Flash CS3 Video Encoder. That's actually what I want. Not Adobe Flash CS3. I want the Adobe Flash CS3 Video Encoder. I'm going to fire that open. I open up this folder. There's the application, flashvideoencoder.exe. Open that up. And now I've got my flash video encoder. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'll remove this. Okay. I need to drop in my other video files. So let's go find them. I'll minimize this. All right. And there it is. Duck. So let's just drop that right in there. Whoop. There we go. And you know what? I'm going to try to do two. So I'll take Venus and drop that in. All right. So now I've got both of these um, video files in here. They're set for Flash 8, medium quality, 400 kilobits per second. There's some default settings here. So, you know, I could, I could select this one and say uh, settings. And I could pick a settings like medium quality, high quality, all that kind of stuff, right? So I'll even say, I'll say low quality so this goes quicker. Click OK on that. And on this one, the Venus settings, I'll change that to low quality. OK. I could even crop and resize these. Uh, you know, resize the video to a smaller size if I wanted. Um, I could change the audio and the video and everything here. All right. But once you're happy with it, you can just click OK. And then now I'm ready to go, and I'm ready to encode the video. So I click Start Queue. Well, I'll pick up the first one. Start Queue. And now it's encoding my video. You can see there's 
That's my daughter um, with the ducks a couple years ago. And it's going to take a while to encode this. And after it's done encoding, I will have two flash video files, .flv files, not .avi or .mpeg files. And then with the flash video files, we can do some pretty cool stuff with streaming video in Flash CS3. And we'll do that in the next video.